Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we're going to look at an actual native 1080p LED projector, the Jim Tab M18. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so today we're going to be taking a look at another projector. Now, previously on the channel, we reviewed a very cheap, cost effective uh, projector, which had a few flaws, but overall wasn't a bad design, and for the money, it was fantastic. So now we've been offered a review of another projector. Now this one is from JimTab, and all the links for this will be in the description below, so you can check out it for yourself, check out the pricing. There will also be a special offer discount code in the video description, so if you want to take advantage of it, do click on that to get yourself a discount. Anyway, on with the review. So this has come from uh, JimTab. They've reached out to us and said we'd like to take a look at our projector. Ours is uh, a higher quality, higher lumens, all that kind of stuff. And when I first got the email, I was like, oh God, here we go, another projector. And I've got to be honest with you, I wasn't holding out much hope for this. There's a lot of projectors on the market and a lot of them claim to be very good and have certain features or a certain amount of brightness or can display a certain size. And most of them, to be completely frank with you, they disappoint. So when this one came through, I was slightly reticent and was, oh, here we go. But fortunately, after testing it, and for those of you who follow me on either Twitter or on Facebook, you'd have seen my post recently where I actually took this through its paces by watching the movie Hot Fuzz. Um, and I'll be honest with you, it was so good, the actual viewing experience, rather than me just using my normal kind of 10, 15, 20 minute samples of different films and stuff like that, I actually finished watching the entire film. Kath went on up to bed, I carried on, like a trooper, watched the entire video. That is how good this actually is. The viewing quality, the picture quality, the sharpness, it is an absolute knockout. You cannot fault it. Now it is slightly more expensive at the moment in the UK. This is gonna be retailing for around about the 200 pound mark. Uh, obviously you do get a little bit off that if you use the discount code in the description below, but that is the sort of money you're looking at spending at this. This isn't a cheap kind of almost throwaway projector. This is actually the real deal. The quality, as you'll be seeing on some of the B-roll, I've filmed some stuff earlier, it is great. Even with the studio lights on, as they are at the moment, so we've got a couple of softbox lights, we've got a uh, LED lamp there, there's lots of lighting in here, and also in actual daylight, we can project this onto the wall, and you can actually see it, it looks great. Now obviously, for the best possible picture, ideally you want the room to be a little bit darker, it doesn't have to be pitch black, um, I tried it here earlier, the PC was on behind me, so we've got all the LEDs and that on there. And I had this facing out the wall. Just turned off the main ceiling light and the LED light. There's a few other lights around, but still the picture on the wall looked absolutely amazing. Now, unfortunately the picture was of me because it was my own video, but apart from that, the picture looked great. The uh, quality, the fidelity, we zoomed right in as well to the picture. And you can, you can actually see the quality of the picture. There is a massive, massive difference. Now, going between the kind of 720p and even 480p projectors that are on the market, when you step up to an actual proper 1080p native resolution, which is effectively three times the quality, you totally notice it straight away. Also, as well, the brightness of this, we're looking at uh, 4,500 lumens, whereas the other cheaper ones tend to be anywhere between the sort of 2,500 to maybe 3,500 lumens, which is okay in some situations, especially in darker areas, but uh, in normal daylight, or if you're using it for kind of PowerPoint presentations maybe, in an office environment, or just in normal everyday life, you don't always wanna to have to draw the curtains, turn all the lights off, you just wanna be able to put in uh, your content and watch it without having to make too many modifications. So talking of content, let's have a look at some of the features and also some of the inputs on this device. So at the moment, if I spin it around, and actually it's not particularly heavy either this, which surprised me. So on the back, you've got your VGA input. Now, if you're using a VGA input, obviously because VGA is a video display only, you will need a separate audio source uh, or speakers, that kind of thing. So uh, do bear that in mind if you're gonna be using it for that particular thing. Uh, we've got USB here. As you can see, I've got a USB flash stick, which is what I've been playing my uh, MP4 movies from. So when it comes to compatibility and all that kind of stuff, most stuff, even like YouTube videos, that kind of thing, you can just download, put onto a flash stick, and you're up and running, no problems at all. So you've got two USBs. One USB um, is five volts as well, so if you want to use it to power, say, a Amazon Fire Stick or some other type of device like that, then you can actually use it in that respect. 
You can also get for Android devices a special cable which goes uh, USB into the phone so you can display your phone onto it. Likewise with uh, iOS devices, you can get an official Apple device which will go from the uh, lightning connector right into uh, HDMI and uh, USB, I believe. I'm not entirely sure because I don't have one of those devices, but you get the general idea. Also, which is nice to see on this, you've got dual HDMI inputs. So you can switch between HDMI inputs. So say for instance, you're maybe using a PC and a PlayStation or an Xbox. You can switch between the two quite easily with the supplied remote, which we'll take a look at in a little bit later. On the back also, you've got five watt speaker there. That's a four home speaker. Nice and loud, gets really loud. So if you're watching films, it sounds really good. Uh, power input is for the traditional kettle lead. Now, this is one of the things I noticed. The cheaper models generally tend to use the, uh, the figure eight lead or the two pin lead, whereas the higher quality and also higher wattage devices, uh, they require a little bit more power and a thicker cable, so they generally go with a kettle lead. So if your projector is using anything other than a kettle type lead, then it's obviously not gonna be quite as good a quality. That's just the way it is. So that's it on the connectivity side. On this side, we've got virtually nothing, just some ventilation. On the front, you've got the lens itself. There is actually a lens cap, which uh, comes supplied. So that literally just clips on the front when the lens is retracted. There's also an IR sensor. There is one on the back as well, but uh, I was playing with it to see what was behind it and I actually lost the cover. So my apologies for that. On this side, you've got the fan. The fan actually goes up to about 45 decibels. So it's certainly a lot quieter than some of the other uh, cheaper alternatives, uh, but it's by no means silent. So if you do want a silent experience, um, you're gonna be paying a lot more for that, unfortunately, because this does require some cooling because it is very bright. It's up to 150 watts of brightness on the light. So that does have to be cooled. That is the nature of the beast, unfortunately. Uh, also connectivity on this side, you've got a SD card slot. You've also got an AV in, and also you've got a um, audio out port as well. So that's probably a good time actually to look at what else comes in the accessories box. Now talking of the box, the box actually comes through like this. It's quite a nice uh, presentation kind of retail box, not your kind of usual cardboard boxes, that kind of thing, or plain cardboard. This actually does look like the real deal. And again, inside it was packaged really nicely. Very thick styrofoam in there. And then we get our accessory box. Now in the accessory box, you get your gym tab, uh, instruction leaflet and guide, all that kind of stuff. And it goes through in quite a lot of detail in English, showing you how to connect up all the different devices, iPhones, Android devices, USB, VGA, all that kind of stuff. And it goes into some detail about the specs of the device. Also, there's a loyal customer benefit plan. So if you register on their Facebook page, um, you can get some unexpected surprise gifts, which I don't know what they are because the, well, they're unexpected and surprise. Anyway, so also in the box, you get a HDMI cable, which is always nice to see. You get a um, AV cable, which terminates into a 3.5 mil jack plug. So that just plugs in the side. And then you can connect up things like, uh, I'm trying to think what you have on there now, um, older consoles, Nintendo Wii, that kind of thing. Maybe older Playstations, if you're into your kind of retro gaming, or maybe if you've got like an old uh, video camera, quite a lot of those actually had those kind of connections so you could connect that up. Or maybe even like an old VCR or a DVD player. The choice is yours, the option is there. Uh, you get a UK power plug. I've actually used one which I had here anyway, but you do get a UK power plug if you're in the UK. Obviously if you're ordering this in the States or wherever else, then you'll get the appropriate cable for your region. Now moving on now, this is the remote control which actually looks kind of like the Amazon Fire remote. Um, on here you've got options, power on, power off, mute, play pools, uh, different sources, the menu button obviously, uh, volume up, down, all that kind of stuff. Uh, pretty much the general stuff that you'd expect to see on a remote control. It's got a nice little remote control, very, uh, very slim, easy to put somewhere. I'm waffling on. Right, let's get this thing connected up and I'll show you some uh, imagery and we'll go through the menu and see what's inside the menu. Okay, so here we are. This is the uh, main menu for the USB drive. Now, uh, if you go into the menu itself, you can change various aspects, picture mode, color temperature, aspect ratios, all that kind of stuff. You've got noise reduction. Um, I've left it pretty much on the default settings. Um, one thing you can change is the projection direction. So depending where you've mounted the projector, you can have it up front on desk, rear on desk, 
front on ceiling, rear on ceiling, uh, so that obviously flips it around however, however you see fit. Uh, go back to the USB menu, so you can play movies from here, music, photos or text. So if we quickly go into a movie, and then you can browse the USB drive as you would on most devices. So we'll choose that drive and you can navigate through, choose whatever files you want. Let's have it full screen. Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Asus Prime A320M-K, cheap or trash? Find out. So as you can hear, the speakers are in there and they're actually pretty loud, but look at the actual quality of that video. So in a moment, this is just in my uh, studio area projected onto a pretty awful plain white wall well slightly off white but the quality actually looks fantastic and if I give you some uh, a bit of a close-up of that you can see actually how good it actually is even when it's kind of zoomed in on the camera on the the film there you can see it just looks absolutely brilliant uh, looking around you see, it just looks like it is a uh, almost like a TV screen. Absolutely insane how good it is. Anyway, let's put the camera back. So I'm going to put the light back on now in the living room, so you can see what the uh, it's like actually with day with well, not daylight but with a lamp. So there we go. That's with the light turned on. And you can see it has changed the picture quality a little bit, but not massively. And if I turn um, another light on. So that's with another light on. If we can shine, I'm shining the light actually at the wall now. I'm not sure if you can make it out, but that is actually happening. And it's not really changing the screen much, if anything at all. Again, this is the, the benefit of this with this extra brightness with the uh, 4,500 lumens. The picture just looks absolutely brilliant. And I'll put, turn the volume up so you can hear what it's like on full volume. So this is completely no frills, no value added stuff. This literally is motherboard and a pretty low end one at that. But, like I said, this is the perfect thing for low end PCs. You can save a ton of money. This effectively is a third of the price of a high end or mid range board. So you can save that money and put it towards other things. So let's look at the board itself. So the board itself, pretty much a stock affair. So there you go, you get the idea of what the, uh, the sound quality is like. And again, there's a close up of a motherboard. So. If I can get that in picture, you can see how good this actually is. Try doing that with one of your uh, cheap 720p projectors and it is not going to look anywhere near as good a quality as that. This is uh, a different level altogether. Just look at the clarity on that. It is like watching a TV. Absolutely brilliant. So there's not really much more I can go into a great deal of detail on in the menus and all that kind of stuff. Um, again, you've got your color temperatures, aspect ratios, all that kind of stuff. And you've got sound mode, so you can change the mode, the balance, uh, automatic volume you can have, so it automatically goes to the correct volume. You've got a sleep timer, on-screen language, all that kind of stuff. Uh, factory defaults, OSB blending, blue screen on, so if there's nothing displaying, it'll go to a blue screen and you can do updates via USB if you want to. But, yeah, you've got uh, a few options there, Thing, different things you can do. All very good and the image quality is just absolutely stunning. It genuinely is absolutely stunning. It's a, it's a really difficult thing to portray actually in a YouTube video when you're filming a film on a wall. But you get the idea, that is from approximately, I would say, about seven to eight foot away. And that section of wall that you can see is the best part of, I would say, 60 inches, the uh, diagonal as you're going across. So that is roughly about 60 inches. You can tell it's real, because look, there we are. I'm blocking the screen now, so you can tell, tell that this is actually a projection. It's not a TV on the wall. It just looks absolutely brilliant, and for the money, I don't think you can go too far wrong. So there you go, there's some pretty good examples of what the, uh, the screen is like, and we'll go back and finalize and talk about my final thoughts. Okay, so there you go, there has been the Gym Tab, the M18, 1080p, native resolution, 
LED and LCD projector. Now actually that's something which I probably should touch on. So people ask in these reviews, is it LED or is it LCD? Well actually it's both. So the light itself is an LED light, but the actual uh, display that projects is an LCD screen. So you've got an LCD screen being bounced through by an LED light. So hopefully that clears up for those of you that are questioning. Some people have been saying, well, LCD um, projectors aren't very good and LED ones are the future, all that kind of stuff. But most of them actually combine the technologies of the two. So traditional LCD screen combined with an LED lamp to keep the uh, noise and also the temperatures down. Now, speaking of noise, obviously there is a fan in here and that's probably come across on the video. The, there is actually fan noise from it. There's no getting around it. It does generate some noise. Um, it's not overly distracting, especially if you're watching films, movies, that kind of stuff, gaming especially. If you're planning to use this in a quieter environment, then um, the fan noise you may find distracting, if I'm completely honest. But that is a be uh, but <laughs> that is the benefit or beauty. I tried to say both words at the same time and it didn't come out very well. But that is the benefit of shopping with Amazon. You can buy this, try it in the convenience of your own home for like 30 days. If you don't like it, you can return it. That is what Amazon shopping is all about. And that's why I spend a lot of my time on Amazon buying these products and also obviously getting them for review as well. Um, you can see what's good and what isn't. But anyway, I'm digressing. Another thing I should have picked up on actually as well, the remote control has got a lot of features on it, but also on the back of the device, there are uh, buttons as well. So manual buttons. So if for some reason you can't find your remote control, you can control pretty much everything from the buttons on here. So you've got up, down, left, right, okay, play, source, menu, and your power button. So all the features are there actually on the unit itself as well, but you've also got the remote control for convenience, which, um, yeah, I quite like this remote control, although it is very similar to the Fire Stick one. So if you've got them both on the same desk and you want to change something, chances are you'll pick up the wrong one. If it's a 50-50, you're bound to get the wrong one. But anyway, I'm digressing again. So this has been my uh, review and impressions of the GymTab M18 LED projector. I actually think it's fantastic. I'm blown away. I still am blown away by the actual quality of the image, even under uh, daylight and also in a, a fully lit situation, you can still make out exactly what's going on. You don't have to worry about brightness levels or anything like that. So if you're using it in, like I said, an office, anything like that, no problems whatsoever. Your PowerPoint presentations or your slides or whatever are gonna look fantastic. If you're gonna be using it in a home environment where you've got a little bit more control over your lighting, then again, it's gonna be absolutely brilliant. You're gonna love it. But like I say, give it a try. You've got 30 days on Amazon to give it a go. And if you don't like it, you can send it back and, uh, well, blame me if you like. So there we go, I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.